Welcome to part 14 of this biplane tutorial series where we're creating this Boeing Stearman Model 75. If you haven't seen the other parts, you can check out the tutorial playlist with the link in the description. So in this part, we're going to be hand texture painting some bolts and some details all along the metal body. Now, if you're interested in learning more about texture painting in Blender, then you might be interested in checking out my Rusty Fire Hydrant Blender tutorial series. So that's a four part tutorial series and it's all step by step and in real time. And throughout the tutorial series, I show you the complete process, including modeling the fire hydrant, doing the materials, and then we use some cool texture painting techniques to texture paint where we want the rust to show up and kind of the worn parts and kind of make the fire hydrant really worn and old and add some little rusty areas. So if you're interested in learning more about the course, you can check out the course trailer video with the link in the description and the course product pages will be linked in the video description. So let's first select the body object and we're going to texture paint some bolts on the body. So let's go to the shading workspace. Now, if we select this object and this object, you can see both of these objects have the plain body. But if I texture paint on this object using the same material, then it's going to mess up the other material because the UV map won't be the same and things won't be correct. So what I'm going to do is select this object here. And actually how I figured this out that this has two different objects using the same material is because of this little button right here. So you can see there is a number two. And so that's telling us that there's two different objects which are using that material. So I'm going to select this one, the front here, and I'm going to click on this button here to duplicate it. And I'm going to call this plain body front. So plain body front. So now you can see this doesn't have the little number there and this doesn't as well. So we'll select the body and now we can search for an image texture that we can paint on. So we'll add an image texture and this image texture is eventually going to be going into the bump. So let's just drag it right down here underneath the bump. Let's click on it new to create a new image texture. Now on the name, I'm going to call it body bolts. And on the base color here, I'm going to make it fully black and then we'll be painting a gray color. Now, because this is going to be a normal map, we want to turn on this 32 bit float, because if we don't turn this on, the normal map or the bump map is going to look kind of low quality and pixelated. But if we turn it on, it'll look a lot higher quality. So always turn this on if you're texture painting a bump map. Then here on the width and height, I'm going to make this a 4K texture. So 4096 by 4096 and we'll click on a new image. So now we can mix this into the bump. So we're going to select the bump and we'll duplicate it and drop it here. And we can take the body bolts and we're going to put that into the height value. Then let's turn off the invert and on this strength here, we're going to turn this to 0.5. So I now need to add a new UV map and I need to plug the new UV map up to the body bolts because right now, if we go over to the UV editing, you can see this UV map here is scaling larger than the texture space. So that's not going to work for the texture painting. And also if we scroll right over here and choose the default UV map, this one is also messed up. It's larger than the texture space. So let's open up the side panel. We'll go to the object data properties and we're going to open up the UV maps. We'll click on the plus here to add a new UV map. And then I'm going to rename this to UV map bolts and let's preview the UV map. So make sure you're previewing the UV map bolts. Let's close the side panel and we're going to select everything and we're going to click on U and we're going to unwrap smart UV project. And then here on the island margin to give a little space in between each island so there's any overlapping, I'm going to turn this to like a 0.01 and then click on unwrap. So now you can see all of the islands are inside the texture space and that is what I want. So now let's go back to the shading workspace and I need to tell this image that it's going to use the new UV map. So we're going to search for a UV map node and on the drop down, we're going to choose the UV map bolts and we'll plug this into the vector. So now we can go over to the texture painting mode and let's go into the material preview because in the material preview, we'll be able to see it showing up on the model as we paint. Now for the brush that we're going to use, I'm going to choose this paint hard brush and it should be on paint hard and default. And then as for the color, I'm going to make it a gray color, just kind of like a mid gray color. So now if I just click here to add like a little dot there, you can see we now have that little bolt there. Let's hit control Z though to undo that. And I'm going to go over here to the very starting. Let's make our brush a little bit bigger. And then if I just click right there in the corner, there is one of the bolts. Now, if I zoom in, the bolt looks a little bit pixelated. So if I go back to the shading workspace, Let's just zoom into the bolt so I can see it. To make it look a little bit more smooth, we can take the linear type here and change it to cubic. And now you can see it looks a lot smoother. 
So let's go back to texture painting. Now, instead of manually clicking along here and manually adding in every single bolt, we can change the settings in the brush and we can make it so that we can just draw a line and then where the line is, bolts are gonna be evenly spaced. So let's scroll right over here and we're going to go to the stroke method and instead of space, we're gonna change this to line. So now if I drag this, you can see there's going to be a line, but let's hit control Z. So now on the stroke here on the spacing, we're gonna turn this up to like a 600. So now if I make my brush a bit smaller, hit the F key to make your brush smaller. If I click and drag and then let go, you can see now we're adding all those little bolts there. So let's just make the side panel smaller so we have more space. Now it's really laggy in the viewport, so I'm going to go back to object mode, and then if I open up the side panel, let's go back to solid view, I'm going to close all of these collections here, so just make them smaller, and I'm just gonna hold down the control key and click here on the eye so that everything else is hidden except the body. So let's go back into the material preview and you can see that looks a bit better. It's a lot smoother now because there's not as many objects. So now that it's a lot smoother, let's select the body object and we're going to go into texture painting. And let's just zoom in a little bit. We'll make our brush a lot smaller so it's just the size that we need it. And then we're gonna click and drag and drag all the way over like that. And you can see we've added all those little bolts there. So let's drag over here. Let's click and drag to add some more bolts all the way over there to the very end. And now you can see we have all those bolts. Now I do think those bolts are actually a bit too big. So I'll hit Control Z to undo that. Let's zoom in a bit closer and I'm gonna make more bolts and have them be a bit smaller. That looks a bit better. So let's drag another line there and then drag another line there to the very end. So there we go, we now have all those little detailed bolts. Now it is a little bit hard to see the bolts because it's so dark. So what I'm gonna do is click here on the drop down on the shading. Let's click here on the HDRIs and let's choose this HDRI. And then I'm gonna turn the strength up to two so it's a lot brighter. So that's a little bit easier to see the bolts. Maybe that's a little bright though, so I'll turn it down a little bit. But that just makes it a bit easier to see the bolts. So now what I also wanna do is add some bolts down here. So we'll add a bolt there. Let's zoom out a little bit and just click and drag and add some bolts right there. Then we'll click here to add another one. And then we'll just drag up here and make a few more bolts right up here. And you can see this bolt got stretched. So when this is curving around, it's a little bit better just to click here and just click and manually add the bolts. Because if you draw a line, the line can be kind of stretched if you're not looking straight on the texture. Now, because we applied the mirror modifier, you can see it's not there on the other side. So we're just gonna need to add this to the other side because we had to apply the mirror modifier so that we can add the words or the text there, the airplane number on the other side. So we're just gonna have to manually add this to the other side, move our mouse, drag all the way over here, and then go all the way to the very end. So there's all the bolts on the body object. Now it's really important that you save the texture because if you don't save the texture, Blender will lose the texture data if you close the file. So let's open up this panel here, the image editor. We're gonna click on image and save as. And in the folder with my project files, I'll click on the plus here to create a new folder. I can just call this texture painted maps. Texture painted maps will go in there into the folder and then just save that image. So now that image is saved, so if we close Blender, it won't lose the data. So let's go back here to the shading workspace. And there we go, we now have all those bolts there on the body, so it looks more detailed. Let's select this piece here, and this is the plain body front. And this material is only on one object. We can see that because there isn't that extra number there. So now what I wanna do is click on the body, and we are going to hold down the Shift key and select these three nodes here that we made. We'll press Control C to copy the nodes, then we'll click here on the plain body front and I'll press Control V to paste them. And we'll drag this down here and we can put the normal into the normal and then the bump normal can go into the normal. So we're mixing it together. So now we need to delete the texture map because we don't want this one. Let's click on new to add a new one and let's call this one plain body front bolts. And then we'll use a 4K image like we did before the color is going to be fully black, and we're going to use 32-bit float so it's higher quality for a bump map, and we'll click on new image. Now you can see that the UV map bolts isn't there, that's because we didn't make one on this object, so that's why it is red. So if we go here to the object data properties, let's click on the plus here to add a new UV map, and this one I'm going to rename it to the same name, so UV map bolts, and now the red goes away because we have that one there. Let's go to the UV editing, and we wanna click here and make sure we're previewing the new UV map. So we'll select everything, we'll hit U, and we're gonna do Smart UV Project, 
we already have the island margin at a 0 0.01 and we'll click on unwrap. So now we can texture paint this. So we'll go to texture painting and let's just zoom into the object and I'll make my brush smaller and we can just click along here and we can just texture paint some bolts there. Let's make this a little bit smaller so we have a bit more space. We can also do, I actually might do this instead, you can hit control space bar to go into full screen mode. That makes it a little bit easier. So in the full screen mode, let's click and drag to add some more bolts there. And because we applied the mirror modifier, we have to do it for the other side. Click there to add another one and add another row of bolts there. And then we'll do the same thing right down here. So there, there's a little crease. So we'll add a line there add a line there, and then manually click there and click there to add some more bolts. And then we'll go to the other side and we'll do the same thing. So that's gonna add a lot more detail to the model. So we'll hit control space bar to go out of full screen. And we can now click on image and we can save this. We'll save this as plain body front bolts as a PNG image and just save that image. So now let's go back to the shading workspace. So now let's select the body front plate and we're gonna do the same thing for this body front plate. Now for this material, four objects are already using this same material. So what we wanna do is duplicate this so that it doesn't affect the other objects because if we texture painted on this, it would just mess it up because it would use the wrong UV map and you might see little smudges of those little bolts on the wrong objects. So we're gonna click on this button to duplicate this material and we're gonna rename this to just something like plain body plates front, because this is the front plate. Let's actually rename it to plain body front plate. That looks a bit better. Let's now hit control V and it's gonna paste those nodes that we already copied. And we'll put the normal into the normal, the bump normal can go into that normal. And then we can just delete this texture. Let's add a new texture. This one we can call plain body front bolts. And then we'll have it a 4K image with fully black and then 32 bit float and we'll add new image and then we need to uv unwrap this so here on the uv maps we'll add a new uv map this uv map we're going to call uv map bolts and now it has that uv map bolts so now we're going to go to the uv editing workspace and let's make sure we are previewing the uv map bolts in edit mode we're going to select everything and we're going to unwrap and we're going to use the smart uv project click on ok so that is a good UV unwrap. So we'll now go over here to the texture painting workspace and make sure we're using the hard paint brush. And for the color, make sure that we're just using like a mid gray color. So I'll make my brush a bit smaller and we still have that line brush set up. So if I just click and drag, we can just add some bolts there. Let's click there. And then we'll go to the other side and we'll drag there and add some more bolts. And then going up along here, it's a bit easier so that the texture doesn't become stretched or warped. I find that it's a bit easier just to manually click along here and add some bolts to the top. You could also just add it in little lines, but if you make the lines too big and long, then I find that it kind of stretches the bolts because you have to look straight on, you have to look flat on the model. So just make sure the bolts aren't too stretched or warped. All right, just like that, so that's good. So now let's go over here to image and we'll just save this. And we're gonna call this one plain body front plate and just save that image. So let's go back over to the shading workspace. So let's now go over to the back plate. We'll select the back plate and we're gonna do the same exact thing. So first we need to duplicate it because you can see this one already has three different objects using the same material. So we'll duplicate this and we're gonna rename this one to plain body back plate. We'll hit control V to paste the new nodes that we copied. We'll put the normal into the normal. We'll put the normal into the normal there. Then we can delete this texture. We're gonna add a new texture. And then for the texture name, I'm gonna have the name plain body backplate. So the same name as the material. We'll have it a 4K image with a black color and 32 bit float. We'll click on new image. Then we need to click on the plus here on the UV maps. We're gonna rename this to UV map bolts. So it's using the correct UV map. Then we're gonna to go to the UV editing workspace. We're gonna make sure we're previewing the bolts UV map. Let's zoom into the object, we'll select everything, and we're going to go U, unwrap, smart UV project, click on unwrap, so that's good, there isn't any overlapping. So we'll now go to texture painting mode, and we can texture paint the bolts on this back plate. So we're gonna do pretty much the same thing, so just drag that line out there to add some bolts there, click there, and then just add a few little lines there to add some bolts, just finish those bolts there, then we can just make a line there going all the way to the end, add another one there, and then we'll add a few more bolts right up here. All right, there we go. So I've added all the bolts to the outside. So we'll save this image. So we'll click on image and save. 
This one's gonna be called plain body backplate and we'll just save that image. So now let's go back to the shading workspace. So now we just need to do the lower landing gear struts and the upper landing gear struts. So let's open up the outliner and we're gonna hold down the control key and we are going to click here on the front wheel. So click there on the eye so we can just preview the front wheels. Now if we click here on this object, you can see it has plain body plates and it has two. So I just wanna duplicate these. So let's select this one here. We will duplicate the material and this one, I'm gonna call it plain body wheel struts. So call it plain body wheel struts. And if we just click and drag, we can drop the same material onto this object. So you can see they both have the same material. So what we can do is we can actually use the same material if we UV unwrap them correctly. So if we UV unwrap them together and make sure that there aren't any overlapping vertices, we can actually paint using the same UV map. So that's what we're gonna do. So we'll press Control V to paste these nodes. We'll put the normal into the normal, the bump normal into that normal there. We're now gonna delete the texture. We're going to add a new texture. We're gonna rename this to plain body wheel struts with a 4K image, a black color, and 32-bit float. We'll click on new image. And now here on the UV maps, we need to make a new UV map. We're gonna rename this to UV map bolts. So UV map bolts. And if we select the other object here, we need to do the same thing. So click on the plus here. We're gonna call this one UV map bolts. So now they both have UV map bolts. So if we select both objects at once, we can go to the UV editor and make sure we're previewing UV map bolts. Let's zoom into the object and we're gonna select everything and we're gonna unwrap smart UV project and click on unwrap. And you can see because we unwrapped it together, now they are not overlapping. So here is the bottom piece and then here's the top piece. So you can see they're not overlapping each other. So now we can go to texture paint mode and we can paint both of them, although we'll have to paint one at a time because if we try to paint both of them together, that won't work. We'll need to paint one of them at a time. So on the texture paint, let's go back to object mode. We're gonna select the top one first and then we'll go to texture paint. So I'll just make my brush a little bit smaller and I'm just going to paint some bolts all along this part here. Now I'm just going to click on this little eye here to show the body because I wanna actually be able to see those bolts. So click on the eye to show the body and then I can just click along here and just add some bolts there and manually click to add a few here. And I'm gonna add some bolts all the way around here on the front of that piece. You can also control spacebar to go into full screen and just add bolts all the way to the end. Maybe add another bolt there. And now let's do the same thing for the bottom. So we'll add a row of bolts there and then add some more bolts going all the way around here in a circle. Draw a line there and then also right here and to the very end just like that. All right, so now we are going to change from texture paint back to object mode. We're gonna select the other object and we'll change it to texture paint. And we're now gonna do basically the exact same thing. So we'll add a line there and then just click along here and just do the same thing. So on the top and the bottom, we're gonna add a row of bolts. So let's now go to the bottom and we're just gonna add another row of bolts here on the very bottom. All right, so that is all finished now. So let's click on back to previous. We'll click on image and save this image. And this one we're gonna save as plain body wheel struts and just save that image. So we can now go back to the layout and let's hold down the control key and click here and click twice so that we can preview everything. And we don't wanna preview the blueprints or the backup, but we wanna preview everything else. So the lights and camera and the model. So let's go into the rendered viewport mode to see how this is looking. And so there is the final model with all of the texture painting and the materials and the textures. So in the final part in part 15, we are going to be rigging the airplane. So we're gonna rig like some of the ailerons and we're also gonna rig the elevators. We're also going to like rig the propeller and the wheels. And then we'll just kind of pose it, add some nice lighting and just do a few renders. So when the final part is released, the link will be in the video description. It'll also have it right up there on the end screen when it's released. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the final part.